What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to another FC24 video. It is 6pm, it is Sunday the 24th and we are in early access. So uh, there's not necessarily much expected from EA. Yesterday we did get player of the month, James Madison. I of course didn't do a video on that because... Uh, yo, what? Because... Uh, it was just, that's all that was there. But we'll go through that Madison today because we've got another player SBC. And I like it, guys. I think, you know, EA have given us a whole bunch of content, SBCs and stuff, which I think is valuable because we're getting so much fodder, right? An 83 by 10 in early access is wild. So this De Bruyne, this Akpom, um, now at Ajax, of course, can play striker, cam, and center forwards has got technical play style, so not the best. Three star, three star, six foot one. His pace is wild. His dribbling's very good. His physical's very good. Positioning, finishing, shot power is very good. And he's got the technical play style. Reaches a higher speed when performing controlled sprint and performs wide turns whilst dribbling with more precision. I'll tell you something, right? If this was FIFA 23, not. If this was FIFA 23, I'll be like, oh my god, this card is broken for this stage of the game. And it does actually look crazy. A Hawk chem style is what I'm thinking. 89 agility, good reactions, good composure. The Hawk gives him mad stats. But in FC24, it's becoming incredibly apparent that play styles, and especially play style plus badges, are going to be the difference. So Akpom's going to be good, right? I've no doubt in my mind, he'll be good. Whether or not he's going to be great, I don't know. We need two segments to complete him. It's an 84-rated squad for a small Electron Players pack and an 86-rated squad for a Jumbo Gold pack. And uh, again, that's, that's some high squads, let me tell you, for an 85-rated striker. It really is. In terms of upgrades, there's nothing. In terms of challenges, there's nothing. And in terms of foundations, of course, there will be nothing. So we do have another player today. However, let's have a little look at objectives in case we've got anything new in here as well so for live oof, evo lounge for an 83 by 2 get started with the evo lounge live ultimate team friendly all rewards are untradeable play seven uh for a 75 rated win one oh this is just it's just this win three and win seven you don't actually it doesn't look like you actually get any rewards for the uh individuals you get an 80 oh yeah you do you get 75 75 75 plus a two rare gold players pack there and then an 83 plus by two for the uh the overall which is really cool and when we look at what the evo lounge is team overall rating maximum 80 max chemistry game mode which is banging one loan 87 and higher overall players maximum zero in your starting 11 in progress evolution, evolutions one, complete founder evolution evolution, or in progress founder evolution players minimum one. So you basically need an Evo player of some description in there, which is awesome. Which is awesome. I wonder then if we've got an extra Evo today as well. So um, we've got anything new in seasonal? No, that's still all just the same. Milestones, I doubt, but you never know. I thought we might get like a... A player, oh yeah, that's what I thought we might get. There it is, Squad Foundations, Era Divisi. Show off your squad building abilities and build your dream team. So Orange, assist five. Oof. I love these cards, man. I love. I know it's always at the start of FIFA, but I love these cards. Assist five goals in squad battles to get Celeste and Squad Foundations. And he actually looks reasonable. Six foot one, no play styles, but really well-rounded stats. It's good. Sharpshooter, score 10 goals with an Eredivisie player. Oh, you have to get the assist five with an Eredivisie player as well. So that's what you can go and do Akpom SBC for, uh, for a premium goal pack. Play 10 for Gij Smal. Um, he's got three play styles. He's two star, three star, can play left back. Reasonable stats. An anchor or shadow on him is pretty legit. He's got long ball pass, whipped pass, which is good. And anticipate, which is good, improves chances of standing tackle success and grants the ability to stop the ball directly at their feet when performing a standing tackle. I like that a lot. And then this one here for a 78 plus by two wins six matches whilst having two players from Eredivisie in your starting 11. And for all of it, you get Driuch, Driech, 
Drech. I don't know how to say his name. Um, he is three star, three star, high, low. Can play left, mid, right, mid, left, 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 mid, right, mid, left wing. This is a weird card because his pace is good. His agility, balance, and dribbling are insane. Ball control is good. Composure reactions are poor. Stamina, strength, jumping, all, all right. Stamina is great. Strength is good. Play styles. He's only got the one. And it's rapid. Reaches a higher sprint speed when dribbling. And has reduced chance of an error when sprinting or performing knock-ons. It's good. And again, I, I really like these foundation sort of things. So we can get Driuch, Silesen, Smal, and Akpom straight away. Some good uh, error divisi stuff there. And uh, I want to just see if we do have potentially some new evolutions. Founders, welcome, Pacey, Relentless Winger, Golden Glow, one and two so we don't have any new evolutions just yet however let's go and have a look in the store to see what we've got there for today we have got foundation starter pack elite starter pack oh ea know how to get your fifa points from you don't they contains 30 rare gold players rated 81 or higher three guaranteed to be 84 or higher a draft token a lone hero a lone icon all items untradeable. We're going to rip it. What are we going to get? Portuguese. Cam. Bruno Fernandes. It is Bruno Fernandes. That is fantastic. That's really, really nice. He's such a sick card as well. So that's a big one. It's untradeable, obviously. But um, any double walkout there? No, I didn't. You can tell how it's a double walkout. I'll have to make a video on showing that. Oh, I thought. We get Bicente, Liza, Razu, and Raul. Laporte. Hendrich. Diaby's a nice one to get. He's a beast in game. Other than that, not a lot of goodness there, to be fair. What I'm, uh, what we're going to do now, guys, we're going to go into uh, foot.gg. And we are going to have a look at new players. But they don't have them yet. I wonder why it takes like a long... Like if we go to uh, Akpom... So they do have him there. Now, does he have any evolutions? He does not. Um, what can we do with Akpom, however? I like an engine on him to boost. This This card is good. I know it has no play styles, but this card, or oh, just, just a technical, but this card is good. I like an engine on him. Oh, yeah. I mean, that is wild, right? 94 pace, but 96 sprint speed. Agility, balance, dribbling, reactions, great. Ball control, good. Composure, good. Short passing, nice. Shooting, nice. Physical's really nice. That's good. I also wouldn't mind a Hawk. Look at that. 94 pace, 91 shot, and 90 physical. That's a good card. But also, Finisher could really be the one. Because his pace is good and his physical is very good. Positioning, shot power, and finishing becomes crazy. Volleys is good. Agility. Dribbling, very good. Oh, this card, I don't even know what chem style I'd go with. But based on my experience of how this game plays so far, I'd probably go Hawk on him. Hunter could be quite interesting. Top pace, 98 finishing, 91 positioning, 92 shot pack. That might be the one. 99 sprint speed, 96 acceleration, and insane shooting stats. Nah, see, I like, I like Hawk. I'm going Hawk, guys. Let me know what you're going with down below, but I'm going Hawk on Akpom there. That's a, a really, really cool card. They still don't have the new players here. So it was uh, Silesen. He's, uh, compared to his 78, he's got this, this card. I don't know where 78 is. You go basic on him. Nah, maybe not. Maybe glove. Yeah, 91 diving, 94 handling, 87 positioning. Really good reflexes, really good kicking, and reasonable speed. So we don't mind that at all. Um, we also had Gidge Smau. There he is. Two star, three star on him. Eh. You've got a couple of options. Like his dribbling is terrible, honestly. 60 agility. I don't know if I care about that. Like he's going to feel like an absolute tank. With an anchor, good pace, good defending, good physicals, good passing. With a shadow, very good pace, good defending, good physicals. For a foundation card, you know, for how these cards might play in games, it's not awful. It's not awful. And then the other guy was called. I'm going to have to go and find his name. Sorry. 
The other guy was called... Um, oh, I love the foundation players, guys. I don't know why, but players that you earn always, for me, are far more interesting than players that you do on SBCs and stuff. What's his name? D-R-I-O-U. 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 So he's got 66 left mid as his base card. And now he's got an 84 rated boosted card. I mean, there's a lot to like about this card. Low aggression, but otherwise very good physicals. Good pace, really good agility and balance. There's a couple of options here. Option number one is a maestro. I know, I know. It's a new game. It's the same me. No, I'll tell you what. I changed my mind. I don't like the maestro at all. Marksman, I quite like. Very good finishing and shot power. Great pace. Very good dribbling. Passing is terrible. Physical is really nice with that. I don't know if I like that, though. I want to boost his reactions up, and there's not a lot that can do it. Artist is about the only other thing that, that boosts it. I don't like that. I, f I feel like you're going to have to... I just, I just Genuinely, guys, I don't think this is a very good card. He's three-star, three-star. He's got high-low work rates, which is really good. He's only got the rapid play style. And because he's got low, low reactions and low composure, but otherwise really nice stats, there's not a lot you can do because his passing's bad as well. I probably would go with the engine. Um, really good pace. Agility, balance, dribbling, and ball control are super. Short passing, curve, and crossing are good enough. Physical is really good. Finishing with shot power is good. As a winger, or maybe like a forward, maybe in like a 4-3-2-1, he could make a good forward. Um, but honestly, I think he's the sort of person that you're going to want to evolve. Now, I don't know if we can evolve uh, any of these guys. I wonder if Giz Schmau can be, uh, can be evolved. I don't know if it's like showing all versions. No, I don't know if it shows those guys. Um, but that's where we're at with that. And then for the SBCs, Akpom. Um, yeah, the 86 and the 84, it's, it's nice. Let me just pop onto Footbin real quick. I want to see what the price of Akpom is. 75,000 coins. It's quite mad, I can't lie. But 88 rated striker with a Hawk. 90 rated striker with a finisher. Three star, three star is a bit of a problem, but six foot one, it's all right. It's all right. Um... So we've also, as I say, we also had James Madison yesterday. This is a must-complete SBC, guys. He has got the, uh, the free kick playstyle plus. It's brilliant. Um, whatever chem style you want to use, yeah, I would use a maestro on him. You know, boost up those stats. I mean, that card is crazy. It's a 90-rated cam with great playstyles and a great playstyle plus. It's a very good SBC for 45k. But that's where we're at for today, guys. So no new evolutions. What we're going to do is we'll come back if some of those players can be evolved. We'll come back and have a look at that. But that is going to be the end of the video for today. Let me know if you're going to complete these, guys. Thank you guys very much for watching. Hopefully you enjoyed it. And I will see you next time. I'm out. Peace.